On May 4th, we set out from Carson City to Lake of the Springs Thousand Trails in Oregon House, Yuba County, California, which is in the Sierra foothills. I got a little practice driving the trailer because the road conditions were great with very little traffic. Good morning. Mike and I are going to go on a little hike right now. It was raining all morning, so I did a little editing and Mike did a little maintenance on the truck. And now we're going to head out because it's uh, not raining anymore just to explore the campground. This place is massive. It's so huge. We got a really great spot. We have a beautiful view, um, water and electric. And uh, we're going to go explore and we'll show you some of this campground. Here's our campsite, and some of the things I love about it are these beautiful lavender that's just bursting right now, as well as this beautiful view. This is the trail that we're taking from the dog beach to the lodge, and you can see the lake. It is almost empty on this end. So when you're hiking along, make sure you keep your eyes peeled because we just saw a bald eagle and it's over there thermaling now. There's a couple of buzzards, but it actually went over there and was thermaling and is kind of far away. And then we also saw a little river otter in the water. So keep your eyes open. So when this lake is in full functioning, this is the beach, but they've drained the lake to make repa repairs on the dam, but then they didn't get them done and the lake filled up a little bit. And so it's gonna be out this whole entire season, which is unfortunate. Here's the main lodge. It's really massive. <laughs> being in a time capsule because this is what they have on the board the most recent pictures looks like the 70s and 80s yeah it sure does the dining hall wow back in the day a lot of people probably use this. Oh, they have bingo. <laughs> and hey, orange, it's making a comeback. So the pool is supposed to be open at the end of the month, Memorial Day weekend. It looks like they've drained it. Uh, we were here just a few days ago and it was full and green. So looks like they're doing some work, which is good. Got a little miniature golf. Just needs a little attention to bring it back to life. So it looks like they've laid tape down where the kitchen is and stuff so you can play pickleball and kind of know where your lines are. We'll have to come down. Well, who's outside our trailer today? While camping, we took a one night trip back home to see family, to check on the house, and to change the oil in the truck. Morning. Good morning. We are um, leaving the campground this morning to explore Grass Valley and Nevada City. Um, we went to Starbucks and uploaded the video and now we're at... Now we're in Grass Valley at the Empire Mine, one of the largest and biggest gold producing mines in California. But it closed down in 1956, I think. Mm. 
But um, getting ready to take a tour. Yeah. It looks very interesting. Looks really interesting. This site is beautiful. Yeah, and then we're going to probably get some lunch, um, maybe go look for a brewery in town and um, do that. We're going to also explore an old psychiatric hospital that's been shut down. It's abandoned. So we're going to explore that um, and then just see what else we can get ourselves into here in town. All right, see you later. There's a lot of mines in this area. In fact, in the Empire Mines, as it became to known, plural, in fact, if you look at the sign on the admin building, it says Empire Mines, there's more than one mine in the complex, not 40 mines. But if you go into the visitor center, in the back of the visitor center, there's a three-dimension model showing the Empire Star Complex. It's about five square miles in size. You go underneath Grass Valley to the Holbrook Hotel, the Safeway, or the post office, you're standing on top of the Empire Star Mines. In the 106-year history of the Empire our star mines, they recovered 5.8 million troy ounces of gold. If we convert that to U.S. pounds, that's 397,000 pounds. Seven seven. This seven by seven by seven foot cube represents the total amount of gold extracted from the mine complex between 1850 and 1956, 100, 106 years. This is the Empire Cottage, built in 1897. The owners of the mine lived here. After visiting Empire Mine, we went to 1849 Brewing Company. 1849 is the year that gold was discovered in California. psychiatric hospital it used to be a lot of things but now it's abandoned and it just sits and we're gonna go check it out and show you uh, what that's all about So this mental hospital closed down in 2006 and we heard it's pretty much abandoned and it could be haunted. Back in 2001, there was an outpatient that came here and killed the receptionist. So let's check it out. Boo! It's kind of creepy. What was that? Should we look in this little hole? Oh, it looks pretty scary. Let's go explore around the back. Man, back in the day, this was a nice hospital. Looks like nature's taking over. side of the building. And towards the back. 
a lot more graffiti back here. It's still pretty spooky. Ah! <gasps> what? So lots of graffiti. Everything's boarded up. Seen any ghosts yet? We gotta be here somewhere. What was that? We should go inside. Oh, it's locked. Hey, it's open. While we didn't see any ghosts, it still was a cool place to check out. Good morning, it's travel day. We have been at Lake of the Springs for 10 nights and now we're headed out to Jackson to meet up with all of our friends. So we're looking forward to that. Um, it's been kind of nice here. we have It's really grown on us. <laughs> yeah. Lake of the Springs kind of grown on us a little bit. Um, initially, I think we were a little bit, I don't know, not sure but it, um, we definitely want to come back when the lake is um, open. They're repairing the dam now, and we want to come back when the pool is open too, because it's starting to get hot. It's been a um, you know, fun time exploring here. We went on a bike ride, well, actually a few bike rides, so that was kind of fun. We got lost a little bit yesterday, but thank God for all trails. I had that map downloaded because we didn't have any service. Um, so we went on a bike ride. Um, we found some people to play pickleball with, which was kind of fun, so we got some practice with the pickleball. Um, the thing about Thousand Trails, though, is that you really have to um, be careful with your campsites, you have to check the pedestal, make sure electrical is working. Our electrical was kind of low a, a lot in the morning, actually. The voltmeter was down quite a bit, so you just have to kind of watch that. Their um, electrical systems aren't super strong. And our neighbor actually lost power. His pedestal went out like 24 hours before he was going to leave. So another thing about Thousand Trails is that it's first come, first serve. So you make your reservation, but once you get here, you have to kind of search around for a campsite. So we initially went into the X section because there was full hookups. There was water, electric, and sewer, um, but no cell reception. So we moved, we went to D section and found a great spot that um, actually has cell reception. So that makes all the difference, really. Now this campsite's been gorgeous. I mean, I've just loved having this view and I've got a beautiful patch of lavender here to look at. So we've had a really, really nice time. Lots of deer that come through the campground. Um, so anyway, we're going to get on the road now, go to Costco in Sacramento. We're going to um, go to the grocery store and fill up because we're going to be kind of remote for the next couple of weeks. So anyway, it's been a good stay, good 10 nights, and now we're headed out and we will see you next time. <laughs> 